Megan Hicks of Iron Far, and I'm at the finish line of the 2016 Diagonal Defoe. I'm with men's champion, now three-time champion, Prince Von Hain. Hello. Hi. You are sick right now, though. Yeah, it was a uh, hard for me since today, but uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, it was uh, an adventure. Do you think that you're sick because of how hard you pushed yourself on Thursday and Friday, or because of something else? No, I think uh, yeah. Yesterday I uh, did something uh, wrong. Okay. Wrong and, uh, but I think yeah, it's because I'm very tired that my stomach is not able to. And this morning and all the night it was uh, just really hard for me. But, but uh, yeah, I think I pushed a little bit, and now my my body needs to recover and to have a rest. You're a three-time champion of this race, and you have a lot of experience at Diagonal de Fou. How does this year's race compare to your previous experiences here? It was uh, just uh, incredible and perfect uh, until uh, until Maido. It's uh, about uh, for, yeah, a little bit after 12 or 14 hours, I think. And uh, in the, it was a big ascent at uh, lunchtime in, in the sun. And uh, yeah, I was feeling very good until there because I don't want to push too much and uh, I have a lot of time in front of the other runner. Although everything was okay, but uh, in the ascent, uh, my quad reset uh, and yes, uh, I'm stronger and stronger and stronger. And yes, it was like a piece of food at the summit. And I was really yes, stressed at the summit because I said, wow, in the descent it will be so hard for me. And in, in the first descent, it's 2,000 uh, meters uh, descent. It's, uh, it's a lot, but uh, it was nearly okay. And then it, after that, it was just uh, impossible to descend again. I think uh, I, yeah, I think I finished my muscle in this descent. I finished my muscles. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's just two, three more descents, two big and one small, and it was just. Uh, so it was, the d it was the downhill that hurt you after that point? Yeah. Okay. Were you still okay on the ascending? Yeah, that's, that's why it was really frustrating for me, because in the ascent it was okay, and okay. I, 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 I still win some time on the, on the river, but in the descent, even on the road, I just able to walk. So, oh no, Jesus. Yeah. So, no, it's impossible. I must, I must go, go, go. <laughs> and I have more than one hour in front. And I say, okay, you can push and, and try. And the last descent, there's a lot of rocks and tree, and I, yeah. I, I can approach with my arm and with my yeah. It was okay, but uh, yeah, it was uh, very hard to, <laughs> to finish. I want to rewind a little bit and talk with you about the early part of the race. Um, you were with some other runners for the first 30 kilometers or so, is that how it went? Can you repeat? Oh, of course, yeah. Um, early in the race, yeah. the first 30 kilometers, you were running, sharing the trail with some other runners off yeah. and on. How was the nighttime running? Hi, it's, uh, here you can see this race is a little particular because we start at, uh, at 10 p.m. We just a lot of uh, people sharing and everything and, uh, and we start fast but uh, we were maybe 20 runners, 10 runners, and then uh, yeah, after the first session we are a group of 5 runners, and then we, we go again together, and then uh, we're in Iron Man um, Palisena, uh -huh. and I know him very well, and uh, he, he go along in front, as though I follow him, and then we were just two, and uh, yeah, after it's maybe after uh, 3 or 4 hours, he, he start to go slowly and slowly, and he say, oh, okay, let's go, and I say, okay, uh, I don't want to wait uh, to the I just keep my, my own wing and we'll see what's happening. I don't to push because it's, it's long, but uh, we will see. And then the time is more and more, and more important between me and the other runner. That's why I say, yeah, keep your own speed, uh, try to be concentrate on your feelings and everything as well. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about running in the circle of Mufat? It was everything in there. There was a, some clouds, there was a lot of heat at times, there was even a little mist, and then of course the very technical trail. But every time we saw you, you looked really well, like you looked good. Yeah, I really like this place because it's always a, it's totally different between the start uh, and the uh, we were in Piton Texter, it was just 3 degrees and a lot of herb and mud 
and then we were in Mafat, it's just a lot of sand and, uh, and, and heat and, and then you are in the forest, it's like a jungle and uh, yeah, it's, you can no, not go really fast because it's technical but it's, uh, it's really amazing how, how, how everything changing, the conditions, uh, yeah, the landscape everywhere. And yeah, I really like enjoy that because you you arrive in Silaos, it's just a you arrive, you have one thousand meter descent uh -huh. and you see a, a small city of Silaos. It's just a, amazing. And then you like climb again the harbor yeah. in the rocks, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And then you go to Ibit and then oh, it's totally different, you arrive in Mafat and then you, you pass uh, Maido and then uh, it's more <laughs> So when I saw you at 97 kilometers, it was just before Grand Place, you were sort of just dancing along the trail, but you said, I feel good, but it's a long way still. For me, it, that almost, looking back at your race, felt like a premonition because, at, you know, 25 kilometers later, you did start having difficulties and yeah. it was clear by the way that you were moving that you were really having to focus. Did you feel that coming or at that time at 97k you didn't know it was going to happen at all? No, I, I was okay, but I, I didn't say that, sure. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way. But uh, no, I feel okay. It was just in the ascent. It's coming. Uh, the ascent is nearly two hours, two hours yeah. left. And at the beginning, it was really, really warm. And yeah, yeah. But I, I tried to win, but uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's 2,000 meter elevation gain. It's long. And yeah, I, it's not a. Uh, I it's the first time that I have this kind of. Uh, I want to ask you a question about the culture of the race because it's so wild. There's so many fans who adore you, chase you, pat you on the back, come up to you and talk to you. But ultra running is a very internal sport. Like in order to have success, you have to constantly be inward focused. What's it like? in a race that demands so much externally like you have tv reporters always asking you how you're feeling in the middle of the race you have cameras so close to you how like does that dynamic come into play in terms of racing here having to externalize yourself so much yes yeah, it's, it's like you say it's uh, it's yeah it's very strange because uh, one part it's really wide one part uh, yes and yes yeah, we really need to adapt and, and be careful because uh, you, it's, it's really easy to be uh, to lose your concentration mm -hmm. because a uh, lot of people and camera and helicopter and everything and uh, and yeah, if you if you are not concentrated on your on your long race and your all on your global effort, you can yeah you can miss uh, to eat, you can miss the drink, you can just uh, be focused uh, and be and sometimes when you are. When you look, you, you think everything is perfect and so good. After it's a, it's a big, uh, <laughs> right after it's that, it's a big right? descent. Yeah, that's why you, with the experience and everything now it's better. But uh, at the beginning, yeah, you really need to be careful. And then, uh, yeah, at, at the end, you yeah, you must take what what is uh, what is good for you and put out what is not good for you. And yes, I, I remember uh, the last session in Shadow. Uh -huh. There was maybe yeah, more than 200 people around me and they say, oh, I was on the seat like that, I was just, I just want to sit five minutes because uh, I didn't stop since the beginning and uh, it was hard and the night is coming again and it's still uh, four hours it's anyway. And they just say, Francois, and for me it was just, uh, I, I can sit down and I say, okay, I must, go, I must go for them, I must go for my assistants wow. and for me. And, uh, wow. and yes, I think sometimes, yeah, it's the helicopter and the media, it's, but I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a game of this race. And uh, yeah, we should uh, try to arrange it as good as we can. But, yeah. But it, like you say, it is part of what the dag of the food yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I think it's really particular. And, yeah, I speak a lot with some uh, uh, American people and even with Brian and say you should come because for courage, I think it's amazing uh, to see it one time. I think it's amazing and I'm really happy that uh, you are here today. And, and yeah, because I think for... Uh, speak a lot, I speak a lot with some international runner and I think for an intra runner, it's really important to take part of this place in your life. I think it's, uh, 
Hey, it's just amazing to, to discover this. Awesome. <laughs> well, congratulations to you on your third game. I know you have a couple days of vacation now with yeah. your family, so I hope you can feel better to enjoy it. Thank you very much.